Hello, my name is Henry and today I'm going to be explaining how I revised during Easter when I was in year 11. So for a bit of context, I got 10 nines at GCSEs and I'm just trying to release as many videos as I can to help out and just give all the advice I can. I respond to all comments so please make sure you subscribe, leave a like and feel free to leave any comments and I will respond to them. I do a lot of videos as well on sort of um, specific subjects, how to revise and I'm going to be doing a lot over the coming months um, on exam techniques, stress, things like that. So please make sure you do subscribe now. Right, so I'm going to be trying to give as many practical tips as I can on what I would actually do to revise an Easter. And I'm also going to kind of be explaining why I use some of these tips and why I did some of these things. So hopefully this, vi this video will actually be real terms helpful uh, for your vision. So firstly, I think it's really important to know that Easter is going to take a lot of effort for a vision. This is two weeks that we have off. It's kind of the last two weeks that we have off. Um, you may have exam leave and stuff like that, but that's really close to the exams. This is the last two weeks, I think, where you can really, really push up your grades. So to those of you that think that, you know, I've got a lot of comments saying kind of like I've got fours, can I get sixes, you know, all that kind of thing. Yes, you can. And this is the two weeks where you can actually do that, where you can really elevate your grades. Anyone at any level can improve their grades. So Try not to stress it if you if um, you think you're doing badly now, there really is still time. And also what's not mentioned too much is there's time during GCSEs because it's only about 50 days until the first GCSE, but there is time during them to improve your grades too. So it's just important to know though that this will require effort um, and a lot of hours will need to be put in. Okay, firstly, planner. This is my planner from year 11. I've shown it quite a few times on my channel now. In a second, I'm just going to show you quickly so you can kind of pause and have a look. My planner from Easter in year 11, and then I'm going to kind of be explaining um, like what I did in more detail and what I would recommend. I would recommend that everyone buys a planner or some form of kind of diary, anything like that. Just a method to revise a bit longer term. I think a lot of people can kind of revise day to day, like a to do list on one day. I really recommend a planner because I think it allows you to spread out your revision a bit more for one and also think longer term because revision isn't just day to day it's you need to think more broadly about what subjects do i broadly need to revise what things do i need to do and if you if you're too busy today it's quite useful for me to kind of do it in a week or you could revise something today and go over it in three weeks so i definitely recommend having a planner to allow you to plan your revision a bit longer term you can get these insane sprees online and amazon i can leave a link in the description but that's my first piece of advice is you need something it can be online if you'd like but i i always like having a paper diary that i can kind of tick off something to revise with and kind of plan that a bit more so what i'm going to do now is just quickly show you inside my planner from easter um you can pause it and just have a look okay so this is the first week of easter inside my planner you could pause it now and have a look, but I'm about to explain it in more detail anyway. And this is the second page, so the second week of Easter in my planner. So that's really important just to plan your vision a bit more over Easter. And I'd, I would spend the first few days kind of thinking about planning. Obviously, you start revision kind of now, tomorrow, but just think about planning. Think about what subjects you need to revise. The second thing I would say is write in two rest days, two or three rest days. And these should be days where you literally do no work. I've done that this year. Um, I didn't do my GCSEs. And that's one thing I've tried to kind of talk about is I think I went a bit too much on no rest. You know, like I didn't give myself any rest days. I wrote rest in there, but I ended up not actually resting properly. So I'd recommend that for everyone is have one or two days off where it's okay to just go on your phone or see your friends, anything like that. Um, and on the other days, obviously, you don't have to be working the full time, but they would probably require quite a bit of revision. Okay, so the principle for me for Easter was I would combine still learning content, still learning a lot of content, revising a lot of content with a lot of past papers. So my method was I did a mock paper of every single paper that were going to be in my GCSEs in order. So for example, on the first day on there, I think I did biology and computer science mock paper. It's only about three hours, I think, of paper. They're both an hour and a half each. And I would mark the biology one and the computer science one and then kind of see where I needed to improve from that. So what this allowed me to do was it allowed me to get some really good exam practice on all of my exams. It was like a mini mock in Easter. Um, and it also helped me to prepare for my actual exams quite a lot because I did it in order. So I kind of felt a bit more familiar with how my exams were going to be laid out. Um, you know, it helped me a bit to plan like what I'm going to advise for when the exams come, the time between them, stuff like that. 
So that was my method, and that's quite extreme method because it takes a lot of time. So I would recommend doing that for people who are really aiming for all nines, um, max grades is that kind of level of exam technique. For people who are aiming a little bit lower, just going through any sort of paper would be useful. A couple of maths papers would be useful, anything like that. So you can tone it down a little bit. But like I said in my last video on kind of timings, exam practice is really important. Now you need to start applying that knowledge you've learned and start thinking about the exams and how to write them. A lot of people talk about it, but I would just 100% recommend starting to write some exams and hand in things like history, English to your teachers and get them back. Okay, so that's the kind of principle. That was my overarching revision. And how I actually did it was most, as you can see in my planner, most of the actual content I learned was through Seneca. I've done a video on how I revised for this, but Seneca is really useful for me. I was doing, I would say, about one to three hours a day of Seneca every day for the whole of Easter. So that really helps with content, um, recall, all that sort of thing. So I'd really recommend that too. And then I also did reading. English literature students, people who are doing English literature, I would recommend trying to do half an hour of reading a night before bed, put your phone away, with, which should help you with sleep too. But I would read your English books. Don't worry about highlighting it, anything like that. Just reading it is really good. Um, and you can, you can be thinking about like what key quotes, stuff like that. But I wouldn't necessarily revise it. Just try and read it. Any form of reading, anything like that, I would recommend for English language too. Just good words, stuff like that. All these things help, I would say, in terms of routine and just your general knowledge and general... Um, they, they, they can be quite relaxing too. So I'd recommend reading. Daily maths as well. Another part of the kind of routine I've talked about before is Corbett Maths 5 a day. I'll link it in the description. These are daily questions in maths that you can do. I did that just pretty much from now until GCSEs. For things like maths, this really helps. And then I'd combine that with past papers in maths. And that was almost all of the maths that I actually did to revise. Okay, so the final thing, my final piece of advice is to target the harder subjects. So you've got to more specifically spend more time on the subjects you find more difficult. That's quite simple, but a lot of people don't do it. A lot of people kind of revise the subjects they enjoy, stuff like that. You should be revising the most difficult subjects for you or prioritising your vision. So don't neglect the other subjects, especially if you're going for a broad range of high grades. So for me in December, I was really bad at chemistry. So I really spent a lot of time revising that and going over that. Um, methods to actually find which subjects you're bad at. You can just kind of think, a lot of people have a general overview of what subjects they hate, are bad at, don't like, things like that. Or you could use a spreadsheet method, which is something I have done. Um, you can buy it off me if you like for £15 and I'll make it for you. I've done a video on it, or you can make your own. But what this basically involves is you can rank every topic of most subjects between one and three. And you can instantly, and in, I've colour coded it so anything in like, anything you feel uncomfortable about is red. And you can just instantly see which subjects you need to revise and which topics you need to revise. This is really important because you just need to make sure you're not neglecting anything and you need to make sure you're very well rounded. So you're going into the exams with as much kind of practice as, as possible and as much knowledge as possible. And that is what I'd recommend of how to actually find out your weaker subjects. So that's pretty much it. A couple other quick things I'll just say is I'll be doing lots of videos over Easter on stress, anything like that. So please make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned as well. YouTube is helpful for videos, anything you don't understand, I often use YouTube for, but try not to spend too much time on YouTube watching videos like how to revise. I, I definitely liked them, but it's all about working out your own way of revision. And Easter's now the time to actually start doing, actually start revising. I've done videos on procrastination too, if you want to watch that and for some more kind of specific tips on that. I hope that is helpful. And um, that would be my advice for Easter and Easter revision. And to anyone that does all of that, it will really significantly boost your grades. Thank you for watching and I really hope that's helpful.